Welcome to the new titling software for Bogart SE called Title Studio. Title Studio is a program that is simple and easy to use. To start it, we're going to go into the Settings menu, go into Install Product, and insert your add-on software CD. After it's done reading, you should see Title Studio in your list, and you can activate it. If you haven't purchased the program, you can actually put it into a demo mode. So you don't have to enter in the code, just simply click on Demo. That way you can try it out, see how it works, it'll render the word demo over your titles, but you can get a good idea to see if this program is suitable for you. In this case, we'll be activating the program in this demo, and then we'll be coming in here to the main titling menu to show you how it works. Here on the main menu, we just go to the main titling menu like you're used to, and it behaves just as before. You select your effect in the line of effects, We'll do an in and out fading pages. You can choose your range if you want to. And then you can go into enter edit text. You can see here when you've activated Title Studio or you've put it into a demo mode, the main titler will now have the identification of Title Studio here. So let's go into the main program. Here's the main menu of Title Studio. You can see it's a little different than what you're used to on the old titler. This one offers very extensive design possibilities for working with titles in high definition quality. You can work as a design on each letter or on each line. So you can see here, if we come in and type in MSUS, I can actually affect each individual letter in here or different lines. Just like you have on PC programs, left click and drag, you can now select and highlight particular letters or particular lines. In this case, maybe I just want to highlight the US, and I can now come in and set up the size. You can come in here to extended commands and maybe adjust your character width or character spacing. So now I can stretch that out. Additionally, we have over 300 different materials and samples we can work with on our default under style. Check this out. Under style, we have a whole list of groups and in each group is a different series of elements or particles or other nature designs. So you can have your highlighted letters and select a particular element out of a group. Each one of these has different design capabilities and different design looks, just based on what type of group it is. There's even a section here for your own, so you can set up your own based on how you design the materials or how you design the patterns that go inside these letters. So how do we do that? Well, here under Edit, we can go in further. And now with the particular selected letters or selected lines, you can do these edit styles on them. You can do things like surface. And in Surface, you can choose a particular color from your color wheel. You can choose patterns from your image pool. Or maybe you want to go into what's called materials, or particular materials you want to put inside the letters. If you don't want to do that, you can come in here and add maybe something else. You can come into Border and add a border around your letters. Look at these nice, fine percentages we have now. So you're not forced into doing things by two, four, or sixes. You have individual percentages. Same thing. You've got solid colors. You've got patterns, and you've got materials that you can put inside those borders. We also have other options in here. Let's say Overlay. Overlay is interesting. This actually carves out inside your letters different type of overlays of shapes or information. So in here in the Overlays, we can come in and maybe choose Hearts and set up the heart so that we only have little individual hearts inside the letters. Basically just going in there and overlaying a text or pattern inside the lettering. If you don't want it, you can just turn it off. If you want to come in and add additional features to your text, we got things like facing. Facing adds like a beveled edge. Look how fast and easy that is. We just add a bevel right along the letters. You can come in here and add a 3D edge, so we can make it cast off a 3D edge on these letters. Same thing as before. Solid color, pattern, or materials. And of course, each one of these, when you click on it, this big box will open up give you all the list of things like you're familiar with on the image pool. Choosing your product, choosing your image. So maybe we can come in here and just put the old American flag in on that 3D edge. If you don't want it, drop it off, set it to zero. Come back out here and choose other things like contour. Contour is interesting. You're so used to seeing these solid lines based on the type of font you've chosen. But now under contour, set your strength. And look how you can start edging your letters. It starts bending at different types of points, and you can increase your points. So this is a nice way to make a little extra own personal design to your text information. 
And of course, we have our classic font. You have your choice of all the fonts that Casablanca offers, our fonts one through four, our fonts pro pack. You can import the true type fonts from a PC, hundreds of different fonts. And of course, you can use your size button to size it here if you wanted to, to make it even a little larger. If you do like it, you can click on save, and this will actually save and allow you to save it as a particular group. See, we have our own group. We even have another one here we've already pre-created called blanks, which are a nice blank series, so it's empty. But you can choose and name them and give individual names to each font inside your own group. If you just want to use it, click on use. Discard is just like a cancel. But if we click on use, there we go. It's now changed. This line now has that information into it. There are other great options in here, things that you're used to, things that are slightly different. We have pages. So if you want to have additional pages on the screen, you can see we're now on page two. And here's page one. So maybe I don't like this page two, and I want to just go right to page one. Here's page one. We can come back out. We can archive it if you want to. You can copy it, copying this page, and it pastes it right to the next page, so that way you can repeat text on there. It's really nice, really simple, and easy to use. We have our boxes over here, boxes just like you're used to before. We have a big box that's always around your text. I can come in here and under size, just minimize that box. Now this thing's a lot easier to grab, and put wherever I want it on the screen. We also can do things in here like add more shadow to your text information, choosing again your solid colors, patterns, and materials. You can come in here and adjust where maybe you want to have a background on it. So if we want to have a pattern or materials behind it, or maybe a solid color. Remember inside the color wheel, you can come in here and set your transparency level. So maybe you only want to see it just a little bit through that information. Or if you don't, just switch it to zero. And now you'll have a blank box. If you want to add more than one box, this is a great thing that they've added into the Title Studio program. Let's say I want to add a new box on the screen. And in this menu, I'm just going to type something generic here, like uh, we'll type test. And we'll come back in here to edit and size and minimize it. And now I can place this on this box. Now, one of the great things we have here is in this option, we can actually flip it in front or behind. Now I can put this behind this particular box. So now box one here, and here's box two. Or if I want to have box two on top of box one, I just flip it. These nice little buttons do that flipping. If you don't want your box, of course, you can delete it, you can add it, you can archive it. Lots of great new features in here, but certainly one of the style, a lot more power in here to choose hundreds of different types of materials, design your own types of fonts, have a really nice clean font that you might want to use on here. It's a really powerful new titling program you can add to your Casablanca for the Bogard SE. Then come out here and create it, build your font, and then now we have a nice new title on our scene. A nice new solid title, looks great. Great Casablanca program. Add it to your system, try it out. One of the great things is, is you can try these programs in a demo mode. Always try the program out, give it a whirl if you like it. Call us, or call your dealer, get your code number, put it on the system. It's really great. If you ever want to return back to your old program, what's really nice, it's real simple. Just come up into settings under install product, and we just hide the program. So we'll come in here to Title Studio, hide it, and now the system reverts back to the old titler, so I can quickly come in and just choose Title Studio, or if I'm adding a new scene up here, and I add our titler, there it is, it's back to its old titles. So you can see previous titles that are up here with the effect, you can still use Title Studio on it, but when you start fresh and add new ones from now on, it's got the regular titler until you go back in and reactivate that Title Studio. Real quick and nice and easy way, you can switch back and forth between titlers. Enjoy it, have a great time, and get some really awesome titles.